Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. Walking, biking by, the woman hugging the traffic post around IDK, 7.30 p.m. Friday night for not judging her. Hi, it's James Raby. You're listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show, and this was unspotted in Rochester. That was me having a panic attack. I was not drinking or using any type of drugs. My legs were giving out. I thought I could make it home before it came on. It only lasted a couple of walk signs. I made it home on shaky legs. Just wanted to say thank you for all those that did not judge me when you saw me for doing that, or even before I got there where I looked like I may have been walking drunk. My legs were ready to give give way from me from shaking. Sorry if I scared anyone. Again, thank you for not passing judgment. Those who might have thought different, thank you and did make it home within 10 minutes. Sometimes we just don't know what's going on in someone's life, right? I just think this is a a wonderful thing to speak out about and also a good reminder that sometimes things aren't what we think they are just because that's what our perception is. Here's what you missed on the early morning show. 5 FM app, he just uh, tapped the microphone. What is it you found at a rummage sale? A Fabergé egg. Whoa! It was marked for $10. Like ten dollars, I didn't try to haggle with them. I gave them ten dollars and bought the Fabergé egg. I got it appraised for ten grand. Holy moly! I sold it for nine. Uh, they knew what the, I had, and they're like, "Yeah, if it's worth ten, and you want to sell it for nine, go, we'll take it." Yeah, get it out of your hair right then. That's not a bad plan, man. You are almost nine thousand dollars up on the deal. Very cool. Uh, The New York Post said an Australian couple was shopping at an antique store when they stumbled upon a naked, life-size replica of Sylvester Stallone. It was a latex doll in a store basement. The prop is from Stallone and Sandra Bullock's movie Demolition Man from, what was that, 1993? Anyway, it's worth $4,000 in the store, so that's why I'm asking. What did you find? And uh, Jamie, thanks for calling the Y105 FM early morning show. What, What did you find? When I was at the antique store, I don't know, it's been like a month ago. I actually found an axe, axe, and I was like, what in the world? And it had like a tag on it, and it said it was actually part of a history thing. And I was like, what in the world? And it was actually from some sort of like replica of a horror movie. Okay. <laughs> but it was an actual axe, and like it had like a little engraved tag on it that said replica from, I don't even know what movie it was from. It was from some horror movie. And I was like, what in the world? <laughs> It was terrifying. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Now, you've got to get off to work, I know. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. What is the odd thing, cool thing, wildly valuable thing you found at a rummage sale? Or just plain cool. I love hearing about cool stuff. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. Good morning, Y105 FM's early morning show. Beautiful day today. Maybe some rain tomorrow, but over the weekend, nice and sunny. I'm James Raby on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. And what is the weird thing you found at a garage sale, Carly? One time I went to this garage sale. Um, my uh, friend and I are walking around, and they have this little jar of um, what looks like fingernail clippings in it. And it doesn't have, like, a, a sign or anything on it to say what it is. So we go out front, and we ask what it is, and they're like, oh, those are Justin Bieber's fingernail clippings. What? And my friend and I kind of look at each other like, what? Uh-huh. What? And they're like, yeah, no kidding. We went to a concert, and I don't know. They said that they got them from somewhere. I, I don't really know where. Anyway, my friend and I, we left, and then we came back um, because she decided that she wanted to buy something else, not the fingernail clippings. Um, <laughs> and they had actually sold them. So somebody actually fell for that, and I feel very bad for that person. Oh, that's... um. That is kind of funny, though. It really is. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. And, Jacob, you got something you found at a garage sale. What is it? I think the funniest thing I've ever seen, it was a a stuffed uh, turkey Mm -hmm. with the feathers in it, and it had this big, giant silver uh, fork in it. (laughs) So I seen that, and then I found out about 10 minutes later it was a hat. Oh, sure. Like a guy put it on his head and wore it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, I... I have seen those. In fact, I might have just purchased one of them once. Um, by the way, hi, it's James Raby, Y105 FM's early morning show. And when I was a key club advisor at John Marshall High School uh, to encourage the club uh, officers to really push this fundraiser we were doing, I said, if we hit this X amount of dollars, I will buy all of you goofy hats. 
And it was just enough of an incentive. So crab hats, turkey hats, that kind of stuff. That's, a, that's really cool. Thanks for, uh, thanks for calling that in. I appreciate it, Jacob. This is Y105 FM's Early Morning Show. We need your help finding a missing, vulnerable adult next on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute. If you're a Michael Buble fan, sit down. The Bureau of Criminal Apprehension issued a missing person alert for a vulnerable adult last seen at the Minnesota State Fair. Good morning, I'm James Raby. This is the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute. 60-year-old Brian Neinstad of Mankato was at the fair Wednesday when he got separated from the group he was with. He's described as 5 foot 6 inches, weighing 135 pounds with brown eyes. He was last seen wearing a black shirt and dark-colored shorts. You can see his picture on the Y105 FM app. Local news you'll find on that app. Rochester felon indicted for federal firearms violation. Trucker charged in 2021 deadly pileup crash near Rochester. And love selfies? Check out two gorgeous spots in Rochester. And the Raby shot. Holy moly, the New York Post is a pair of parents from Germany are changing their daughter's name. The couple named their daughter Alexa just as Amazon's Alexa device was hitting the market. The young girl got teased on the playground and at school, so her parents decided to change her name. Well, okay, I mean, it's your choice as a parent, but it's not like her last name was Raby, who has rabies or anything. <laughs> anyway, court officials ruled in favor of the parents and are allowing them to rename their daughter. I don't know the ins and outs of most governments, right? But... A rabies shot to have to go to court to change your kid's name. Anyway, Y105 FM weather for today. Sunny and 84. Tonight, clear and 66. Then tomorrow, sunny with a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 4 o'clock. High 86. Again today, sunny and 84. I mean, it should just be a paperwork thing, right? I just want to change my name. It's a kid. Paperwork. In, out, no messing about. Again today, sunny and 84, it is 66. And so far, we've heard about Justin Bieber's fingernail clippings and an egg worth $10,000 being found at garage sales. Coming up, maybe the most unusual find of all in Rochester, the Bloomer's Discovery in 12 minutes on Y105 FM's early morning show. Call on the Y105 FM early morning show. What did you find at the garage sale? I bought a chinchilla at a yard sale. A chinchilla? There has to be a story behind this, Allison. There was a kid that was selling him. He was going to college, and he couldn't take him with him. So I I fell in love with him at first sight. So I bought him and brought him home. Well, that's cool, but a chinchilla is kind of odd to see at a garage sale, right? I was, at first, I was like, what? Really? Okay, I guess. Have you seen any other animals at a garage sale? I've seen puppies. I've even seen chickens. But a chinchilla? Nope. <laughs> That was the first one. Well, I, I am surprised you found chickens and their dogs, too. Anyway, it is Y105 FM's early morning show. This is all, all coming up because a Sylvester Stallone six-foot replica was found in an Australian store on sale for $4,000, completely naked, all, you know, a movie prop is what it was, a movie prop for Demolition Man. And so I'm curious, what's the weird thing you have found at a rummage sale? What do you got, Katie? Somebody had underwear. I'm like, uh, you know. What kind of underwear? It looked like maybe your grandma's bloomers. Bloomers. And you weren't tempted to buy them? No, 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 no. Why, why would you even try to sell them? Because they weren't in a package either. So I don't know if they were used and they were just trying to sell them or what. But I was like, mm, no. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, by the way, thanks for calling in. I know you got to get to work at the shop. Uh, it's, um, maybe, and I'm just spitballing here. This is just a possibility. Maybe it was part of a side business and they weren't supposed to be there at all anyway. You know, these things happen. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. Have I ever found anything unusual at a, uh, at a rummage sale? I have, but I can't tell you about it now because we got to get to kicking off the 8 a.m. all music hour. So set an alarm. So we're on 937. You get to hear about the weirdest thing I found at a rummage sale. It is absolutely worth listening to the 8 a.m. all music hour all the way through. Just to ignoring dry mouth, morning headaches. Oh, my very best garage sale find ever. I got a message from her this about uh, five minutes ago from Alicia on our app. She just hit the chat and said, so what was your best uh, garage sale find? My best garage sale find ever, a leather bomber jacket at a big garage sale for a, a church school. And it's just, it's pristine condition has to be worth three four hundred bucks i got it for maybe a dollar it's one of those bag sales and then 
Have you ever considered that Leonardo DiCaprio is so proud of his work in the Titanic, he only dates women who weren't old enough to have seen it when it premiered, so he can share that special moment of watching it with them for the first time? Did that even occur to you? No. No, it didn't. It's just that he's a gross guy that has very particular tastes and then dumps women when they turn 25. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. Here's what you missed on the early morning. Not hi, it's James Ravey on Y105 FM's early morning show. And in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a man recently called the police because his roommate burned his biscuits. He burned his biscuits. I guess they were hard to choo-choo. <laughs> Chattanooga choo-choo? Ah, that goes over big at Madonna Towers. Anyway, the two men were arguing when police showed up. Both roommates agreed to separate for the night. No charges were filed. Biscuits. He burned his biscuits. That sounds like it's a, a, a phrase that means something else. You know, like tickle fight or orchestra pit. Things like that. Hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.